Hello everyone, today is April 5th, 2021, 68 Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius, and I'm in Newark, New Jersey today, in front of the Branch Brook Park. The time is 2.30 p.m., and this is my first ever visit to this park. I know that this park is very famous for its cherry blossom land. In fact, this is the largest collection of cherry blossom trees within the United States with over 5,000 trees and over 18 different varieties. Now, I am coming at the beginning of April, so not all of the cherry blossom trees will be bloomed yet. We'll see um, some just beginning to bloom, some are in peak bloom already. It just really depends on the variety of tree. But immediately, I'm making a right and I see a lot of cherry trees. Because this is incredible. Oh my goodness. It might even be peak season for these trees already. Because I don't see how these trees will be even more full than they already are. Let's get a close-up of one of these flowers. Let's see if that focuses or not. The wind is not really cooperating, but you get the idea. I'm even snapping some photos myself. So I think I have a lot of ground to cover because this park is 360 acres <laughs> in area. I don't know where all the main cherry blossom trees are. Let's see the cherry trees on that side of the park. I just saw on Google Maps, there's a body of water over there. These trees over here seem like a different variety than, than the other ones. These are a little bit more white in color. All right, so I have some hopes for this area because there's a lot of these signs on top mentioning about the cherry blossom land. And I'm assuming that cars, they drive right up this ramp into the main attraction. So that's just my thinking.
Now let's see what's around the corner here. Well, there's plenty of vehicles parked on the side there. I can tell there's, there's more cherry blossom trees on that side. Actually, looks like there's a lot more, but oh, this is gorgeous right here. Absolutely stunning, especially with this large, large church in the background. I'm actually very happy that I came at this time because if I came later, many of these trees will be past their peak already. So this is the eastern edge of the park. I haven't even touched the other side yet. And already it's looking fabulous. If you're gonna come to this park, now's the time to come. Right around the beginning of April, maybe even, actually I know later in April it's gonna be looking gorgeous as well. Well, I don't want to go down those stairs. Let's head this way. So this cathedral is the Cathedral Basilica of the Sacred Heart. Here's the Concourse Hill Welcome Pavilion. It's a gorgeous structure. So some information about the creation of Branch Brook Park. Now let's get down to that water's edge that I saw earlier. There's probably a lot more cherry blossom trees down there. I wonder if I'm able to get down from this side. Looks like there's a dirt path going down the hill there. I think I might be able to. You can tell these trees aren't bloomed yet. They're just sprouting now. I 
but almost time. I think the best time to come for cherry blossom season is when the double flowering cherry trees start coming. That's the uh, Kwanzan cherry blossom. Wow, there's even more here right by the water. Now, most of these trees aren't bloomed yet, but it's still gorgeous around here. And I also have to remark about the landscaping of this park itself. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you have gently rolling hills here, a nice body of water. Where I started this video, there were some facilities people could relax. Yeah, this uh, waterfront area is gorgeous. Of course, the ambiance is ruined by our friend, the ice cream truck. I can tell these are in about a week or two weeks will be blooming and it's going to be gorgeous. The water's edge is just lined with these cherry blossom trees. Wow, it looks like everyone's gathered on the other side of the water over there. And there's a bunch of cherry trees on that side. We'll go and check that out. I also can't believe that this is my first time to this park, Branch Brook Park. But I guess it's understandable because where I am, Astoria, Queens, and many people from Queens and Brooklyn, it's not that easy to get over here for, by public transportation. Well, rather it is, but people don't want to cough up the extra fare on the New Jersey Transit to get here. And I don't blame them because there's a lot of beautiful spots in New York City to explore, like Central Park, which has a lot of cherry blossom trees, Roosevelt Island, Flushing Meadow Park within New York City itself. But I encourage people to come out to this park and take a look because it is truly a remarkable sight. Now I wonder where this goes, if this goes over that bridge. Maybe this is a hiking trail? I don't know. I do wonder how people got on that side. They couldn't have all swam from that across, right? Oh no. Well, um, it looks like it's flooded up there. I'm not going to go up there. Really? Yeah, just a few feet ahead. It's a lot of water.
but I'm going to try to find a way to go around this. It's too, a um, little bit too dirty for my liking. So hopefully we can go around and over that bridge. This is a gorgeous tree. All right, this is a lot more to my liking than that trail that had a little bit of water in it. I would imagine in the autumn, it will be beautiful here too. I would actually right now prefer Central Park over this. Central Park, Manhattan, because this one it's not really as accessible as Central Park is to a lot of the population and there seems to be a lot more attractions within Central Park. Sure, over here you have that area where the cathedral is and that, that uh, structure which is really nice, but in Central Park, just near the 59th Street area, there's a nice pond over there, there's a zoo, there's a carousel, a lot of playgrounds. I didn't really get a sense of that from Branch Brook Park, unless I'm in the wrong area for that. Okay, I know how I'm gonna get across the river now. Right up here and then go right across. Looks like there's someone actually dressed in Asian dress and practicing some moves over there. So some special event might be going on unless they're just here to practice. I think they're finished though. So this bridge is pretty impressive. Looks like it's well constructed. They have some lanterns at the top there.
Let's look south from the bridge. Now that's spectacular. I can just imagine it now, two weeks from now, you're gonna see a lot of cherry blossoms blooming at the end of this waterway here. But right now, this is the best spot to be. More people are gathered over here. Possibly because this is a lot easier to get to by car as well. There's even more cherry blossom trees on that side of the street as well. But we're gonna go make a left, show these cherry trees over here, and then I'll end the video. I think right by the water would be a good area. But in short, my opinion is this area is absolutely amazing to visit for cherry blossom season. I don't think there's a better area to visit for cherry blossom season except uh, Washington DC, the National Mall. But in terms of an actual functioning park, I like a lot more parks better than this one, including Central Park Manhattan. But if you don't like crowds, then this park may be a better option for you. I even smell the cherry blossom trees right now and they smell so nice. It's a good thing I'm not allergic to them either. All right, we'll go across the road here and I'll end this video right where that fountain is. Oh, and uh, if you need restrooms, they're over here. There's public restrooms and also porta potties. Let's see who. Let's see who a bus of. And this is, this is Olmsted. Is this the same Olmsted who helped design Central Park? And it is Frederick Law Olmsted. I was right. Often referred to as the father of landscape architecture. Yep, that's the guy. All right, folks, this will be the end of this video. I'm gonna walk over here where these two lines are so you can get a better view of this fountain. It's good they have that fence over there to stop people from going in.
All right, folks. If you enjoy this video of Branch Brook Park in Newark, New Jersey, famous for its largest collection of cherry blossom trees within the United States, please smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already to the channel, and I will see you next time. Take care, folks. Bye.